what happened was when I was first injured, I was in, Por I was in Portugal. And um, I had an indwelling, they would put an indwelling catheter uh, from like 8 o'clock in the evening to like, all, so basically all night. And that was something that when I came back to, you know, to the rehab here back in Toronto, um, that was something that they were not, you know, it was kind of like against. They didn't want, you know, us to be using these indwelling catheters all the time, where, um, where, whereas instead of doing ICs, or, you know, every four hours emptying your bladder um, that way. So what happened was my bladder ended up getting very small, and uh, the capacity was uh, it was and is still um, very low. You know I can't really hold a whole lot. Um, so once I started doing uh, catheterizations, uh, you know every four hours that sort of thing. At the beginning, of course, I wasn't I wasn't independent with uh, with that. So I needed help with the nurses to be able to catheterize. Um, I didn't, I couldn't hold my bladder, I couldn't hold urine for that long or that much, so I'd have to, for example, go out every, um, you know, if I was going to go out, I had to make sure that I was uh, back before I had to go to the bathroom. Um, for example, I could probably hold maximum, you know, 200, 250 cc's, 300, which is not a lot. And um, it, it is and it isn't, depending on what you consume. So I found that my life was going, was revolving around um, my bladder. I had to be out for a certain amount of hours and back home before you know I could have an, an accident, and uh, and it was just just terrible. And so uh, the feeling of, of being wet or whatever is very, it's not fun.